Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ask Us Anything. And it is a big welcome. Uh, Jennifer is with us uh, now once again. Mr. and Mrs. Plaid Shirts. <laughs> That's right. We do. We I was, was going to change and I forgot. We did not coordinate our uniforms. No, uh, we forgot to coordinate uniforms. Oh, the well. wardrobe. Oh, oh dear. Well, uh, everybody has been asking uh, how you're doing, and uh, we did not do last week, uh, Ask Us Anything, and we did not do our podcast last week because you had uh, a complication from what was supposed to be a very minor um, procedure, right? I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, you're back. I don't know how much I'm you back. Share. I've, I shared with everything in the podcast with, it, with what happened uh, last week, and... Uh, How's your ticker? <laughs> Got a little cough and uh, getting better, getting better every day. Yep. And uh, lots of people have been asking how you're doing. And uh, uh, we'll look at even our friend, uh, Christy Spencer is here and uh, she says, it's good to see you. So well, thank you, Christy. Uh, we have to just check out uh, Christy. So that's really good. And uh, Linda Ward hopes Jennifer is better. And thank you, Linda. And it has been a it's been a bit of a challenge, hasn't it? Well, I <laughs> excuse me, I have not coughed all day, but I think it's getting near quitting time. Yeah, uh, I made a huge dinner. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it it was actually a very good dinner that you made. Well, you didn't think it would be. Well, it always is good. And Ed Richards is back there saying, uh, yeah, Jen, and uh, that is all good. Thank it's you, good everybody. To see you so, uh, so we have a, a bunch of you on, and. Uh, I don't think we have to beat the 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 dust about what happened to you, um, other than the fact that you didn't you, you didn't expect to be in the hospital for. Uh, I did, for, well, in, I did not let alone in intensive care or cardiac. Intensive. I did not have peace about the surgery, but I don't know if I ever would have had peace. But it just sounded very weird to me. But I expected it to be very simple. I expected to be back on the treadmill in a few days. I did not expect near the drama, but. Uh, you get what you get, and it's yeah. getting better. So we, we, I've shared with everybody on the podcast that they basically uh, poked a hole in your heart uh, during what was supposed to be a, a, I guess there's no such thing as a minor procedure when you come to the heart. But uh, it sounded a little weird to me. Yeah, it did sound a little weird. Uh, but anyway, people are glad to see you back. Well, I am delighted to be back. We're going to have to curtail travel for a couple of weeks. But you know, we're going to anyway, because we're getting on it's to that time Thanksgiving. And we've got a couple of trips, uh, but a couple of them we're going to Elkhart, I think next week, and a couple of other things. That's the nice thing about living now in Southwest Michigan is we're less than, uh, less than an hour from the RV capital of the world. And that's where we're going to go. A uh, couple of things we want to talk about uh, before we get to your questions, okay? And that is, uh, we are really excited about a new platform that we have really added to our uh, itinerary. Many of you know that we do a lot of reviews. And there are so many products that we would love to do more reviews on. And we found the place to do it. And it's Amazon Live. And I don't know if you, if you have it. Actually, that is not the correct address. Oh, yes, it is. It is. Right there. Uh, and if you go there, well, maybe let me just show you where it is. If you go to there, here's what we want you to do. We want you to go there and see this little yellow button right here, uh, right over here, this little yellow button. Click that and follow us if you would. Just click that and uh, and follow us at that address uh, right you see in the screen, amazon.com uh, slash live slash RV Lifestyle. if you click this little little button follow, then we would be extremely pleased with that because then we'll be able to share some of this. We're going to go on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, and uh, it's going to be the best products that we have done, uh, that we've seen this year, that we've used this year. Uh, and these are all products that we own and use. So we will show you all of those. And that will be uh, at uh, 7 o'clock uh, Eastern time on Amazon Live. And again, please go there uh, and hit follow. That will help Amazon uh, make our, our platform uh, be more widespread. We've got a couple of them that are up at that address right now. And one of them, because I'm figuring out the tech. One of them, I'm, I'm down here, I'm all set to go, and I had a little countdown going, and Bo started to bark. And he barked, and he barked. 
And, and did I'm you yelling, lose your temper? Oh, stop. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yelling pretty hard, but you know, it's, it's sounded... Elliot, you weren't cursing him. No, I did That's not curse good. him. I, I let him outside. He is your baby. He is my baby. He's my buddy. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's a couple of them out there. We have more, and it's a really fun platform to do because we can do these reviews and, and its products. So um, we'll mention that a little bit later on, and we ask you to go. But anyway, Jen, everybody says uh, you're good. Look at your friend, our friend Nancy Einhauser says you look <laughs> super fragile. <laughs> you didn't say that one. That's a mouthful. Super califragilistic <laughs> expialidocious. You're the professional speaker. Even though... The sound of it is something quite atrocious. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy, <laughs> and uh, her husband, Robert, who are regular. Dear friends. And there's our friend, Ed Richards. From dark South Louisiana. Dark because of these this weird, we've been on weird time all day with daylight savings. I thought we were to do away with daylight savings time. Well, I would like to just not have daylight well, did, savings time, I read time, all period. these stories that said last year was the last I year. I don't want little kids... To be going to school in the morning when it's dark. No, that's it's. But but didn't weren't there all these stories last year yeah. about it being the end? Well, somebody must. Somebody else must feel they don't want little kids getting on the bus in the dark. Anyway, uh, it's uh, seven oh seven Eastern time, but it's our bodies are eight oh seven, and I'm going to be thoroughly confused. Bo is in bed sleeping for the evening. Bo when Bo goes, to, he doesn't change. When it's dark, he he goes to bed. That's it. And, anyway, Ed, good to see you, Linda Ward. In North Santee, South Carolina. Heading south. <laughs> Excuse me. Hope to get away before needing to winterize. Uh, missed by 36 hours. Oh, well. Oh, heading to Key West. Huh. I'm not going to feel sorry for you, Linda. No, I'm not either, Linda. I hope you freeze. Oh, no, I hope oh, you have no, just a no. wonderful time. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm winterizing tomorrow. We're winterizing our uh, Montana fifth wheel. And we are win and, uh, we're winterizing our uh, Leisure Travel Vans Class C. So we're double winterizing busy, busy. tomorrow, and uh, and uh, we'll be unwinterizing hopefully as we get down to the Tampa RV show in January. But uh, and yeah. we might go down to Tennessee. We'll see if we have time between the holidays. Oh, hey, I have a. I want you to do this. I want you to tell everybody to make sure on the stream you give us um, a thumbs up. Let's see if it'll do it. No. Nope. I'm not okay. going to do it. it. Oh, I got to find the right camera to do it. Um, let's see. It's that camera. Okay. It could be that camera. Well, you, you know, we had these weird things like, um, okay, how about this? How about this? Make a heart signal. Give us a heart. Take no, I just got to go right here. There oh, we go. There we go. You got to make a good heart symbol. And if you give it a double oh. thumbs up, check this. Come on. Okay, it's not doing it. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Uh, yeah, it worked really good a minute ago. Anyway, we had that, and it's it drove us nuts for a couple of weeks because we'd be sitting here just kind of talking, making symbols, and these fireworks are going off and all that stuff. No, when I ask everybody to give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. And we had fireworks. Well, yeah, if you get a double, there's a one thumbs up. You like that? A little thumb. I like the fireworks. Okay, fireworks are double thumbs up. Oh, <laughs> for you, it did it. <laughs> okay, so it drove us nuts because I'm in the middle of a business meeting on Zoom. And it's a fairly serious meeting. We're talking with a couple of sponsors that, uh, and it's a fairly, it was a fairly grown up affair, a fairly grown up conversation. And all of a sudden, those hearts start showing up and the fireworks well, our, our son's favorite were those little bubbles where words you know yeah. like cartoons so all that stuff was happening and i was i don't know what's going on well if if that has ever happened to you um i can tell you how to disable it i'm not going to disable it because we were actually having fun with it but it's it's for it's only with apple it's with the new apple update and uh, if you when you open your webcam or whatever cam you're using uh, you'll see up at the top on the menu bar up at the top, a little green camera. And if you click on that, uh, you'll see it says reactions and it's highlighted. And if you unclick that, then that won't do that. But we did figure out what that is all about. So anyway, enough. That, I think uh, it was much more fun when it was just a great big mystery. Well, now we figured it out and I'll have to explain it to the, uh, 
to this if I ever deal with this company again. No, I think we will actually. I think there'll be a sponsor. Jimmy Lamb. A trailer plays when I start watching the live stream. What I call that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, travel trailer, since this is an RV lifestyle. There you channel. go. It is. Very good, Jimmy. We should explain Jennifer's cough. And I think we can tell them that part. Um, one of the problems she had when she was in the hospital is uh, when this procedure went kaflui and they're in your heart, they immediately um, put you on a ventilator and they kept her on this ventilator for 27 hours. And Why? Well, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I guess in well, case they wanted to open a heart surgery. Yeah, I well, no I think they thought if if, if things if went something worse. went bad, they wouldn't have, you know, they could immediately... Uh, do surgery or whatever. But anyway, that is a tough way to go. Ventilators are horrible things. And uh, so it caused a lot, a lot of, of um, irritation in her throat and in her lungs. And she's getting rid of that. Um, lots of people are saying um, they're happy to see you back. And well, it's Christopher nice to be Colley, back. And many of you are, are saying that. And thank oh, you. It was so embarrassing because you brought me home on a Saturday. And then Monday, <coughs> did we have a young man and his girlfriend come about putting up lights for her house? And all I did was blubber. Well, I think, you know, <laughs> and they, you get, you're very emotional after, after <laughs> nearly dying. You know, I think you, you know, it, when you're on, out that way for a long time, oh, I think it really, you know, messes maybe your other mind people up. have experienced this. I mean, it was only like two days, you know, that I was gone, but they told me to eat and, the spoon was every, or the, you know, oh, yeah. I couldn't hit my mouth. Yeah. And I thought, wow, do I ever believe now in physical therapy, how quickly you lose your motor skills? You do. I mean, it didn't take me long to find it again. Somebody's offering that says time tea helps with the cough. So it, it, the cough is much better. So yes. that's it's oh, just, hey, I missed that. Let me get that back here. The Senate passed no changing clocks. The house is not, and has been sitting on it for a year. Come on, Washington. Gee, nobody likes. Okay, does anybody so, like daylight okay. savings time? So the Senate wants the little kids to be go getting on those school buses in the dark. No, no, the Senate wants it. We don't even change it. We stay the same time well, all year. You stay, it's the house that is. <laughs> you stay on daylight savings time. I think so well, that I, you can play golf and you do stuff in the uh, evening. I think. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. You fall back. Stay, don't try to it figure it out. Stays late a little bit later in the day. But so, it's darker in the morning. People that don't have kids would like it to be I light in the evening. But let's people who have children and grandchildren who ride buses and things. Hey, here's the best part of all: ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. My would body help. doesn't like ice cream. <laughs> you, well, I do. You have started drinking goat's milk, so I made oatmeal this morning and I put goat milk on my oatmeal. I just, oh, worst thing I've ever had in my whole life. Goat's milk. I can't tell any difference at all. Doesn't that. surprise me at all. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. All right. Enough of this. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's go back to your questions yes, and enough, enough of, our, of our foolishness here. And we'll see if we can answer some of the questions that you guys have uh, have had for us uh, here on the, on the podcast. And we appreciate all those kind, nice words that you're saying. Uh, here's one uh, from Dr. Gilbert Nakuzi. Okay, what types, sizes, and if possible brands of luggage you use, and which ones do you send to the laundry, or do you just send stuff in bags? Um, give us some tips about this topic. Well, um, thank you for Organizing the question. Organizing luggage. Uh, well, we don't use luggage. It, it's just it's just not a great spot for luggage in an RV. So we don't use any at all, but we do use a product called the, uh, the e-bag and we have used, uh, this product for 12 years. And even now when we go to hotels, we take our e-bags with them. I think I can actually show everybody what an e-bag is. Um, let's go over to our Amazon, uh, page. This is, uh, again, there's another place hit follow up there. If you go there. This is our Amazon storefront right here. And uh, there it is right here. Let me call these up. These are e-bags and these are um, packing cubes for travel. Okay, we so have, what colors? It looks like orange. They have there a now. bunch of different colors. And this, we have, I have blue and you have kind of a rose Rosy color. Rosy red. 
but um, they're very nice. Uh, and you can see. I like the orange. Well, there you go. We have, I keep waiting for us. You know, the zippers haven't broke. We use them exclusively. Uh, and we each have three of them. We pack our clothes in those. And even when we, a couple of times when we've done longer trips and we've had to take luggage, we still take those e-bags and put them in. They're not very much money. They're, I don't know, I think they're 25 bucks or something like that. And um, you can see there's all sorts of different colors. And it has the have. mesh so the air can get in there with your clothes. Yep. And they have all sorts of different colors. And and uh, and you can see there, here's somebody, they basically, they say drawers for your drawers. You can put these things in, in drawers. They, they're very easy to store. The the um, You can get all sorts of stuff in Ooh, those. Oh, they things. got lime green. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, you can find those on our uh, on our Amazon page if you want to go over there and look, and um, you can get to that again if you go to. Uh, let me just. We've been telling everybody to go to our Amazon Live page, and you see our Amazon Live page. That's where those videos will be. But right up here, underneath um, where it says View Our Storefront, if you click on that. It will then take you to our storefront and you find all these different categories of all of our different products that we've had uh, and that we we everything we do that we use and we mention in one of our blog reports or our videos we do um, in a um, we, we put on the storefront. So you can find them there. E-bags is what they're called and they're very handy things to have. We really we really do like those. So hopefully that answers your question. Now, in terms of, of laundry. Um, where did you get that? You have a big green laundry bag. I picked that up at an Ace Hardware in Wisconsin years ago. Yep. And uh, we just uh, keep that in a in a cabinet or a closet. And uh, we carry that when we have to do laundry or when we have dirty laundry. <coughs> but now in the fifth wheel, there is more room and I can have a basket there to you put go. dirty clothes in. Yep. But I don't like dirty clothes sitting around. I think they get a bit stinky. We need to get... That washer and dryer installed in my fifth wheel. We keep th we picked up our fifth wheel and it's not like I can exactly August. send you down send you down to the river to start pounding clothes. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Like I we saw in Africa. I don't think so. Uh, so anyway, is somebody that's got okay rice milk? I don't think so. Evaporated milk, leche pet milk, le leche, four cans of boiling water mixed with one can what? Well, I guess rice milk, different kinds uh, of milk, other than cow's milk. Sounds much too complicated for me. I don't drink much milk. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to it. And uh, very little milk is in my diet. Yeah. Well, thank you. But uh, thank you for all these suggestions. Yeah, um, I know my daughter-in-law cannot drink cow's milk or my granddaughter. They develop this dreadful cough. It doesn't really look that complicated. And and it sounds like that might actually be a good thing Might to be try. better than goat milk. Yeah. Yeah, that would Goat be. Goat milk good. is expensive. Uh, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. You can only get it in quarts. A too. quarts of uh, six, five, six dollars a quart. Inka Schultz says uh, she has the packing cubes. That works great for RVing, and they do. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. We have been uh, been very pleased with them. Uh, just making sure your voice is all okay. Um, Marta Santiago. I think we've sold more e-bags than any other product well, we've mentioned. people told us about them when we first got into RVing. And particularly when you're in a Class B or a Class C, they we work are, great. But I like them in the fifth wheel, too. I load my clothes up, take them out there, open up a drawer, and just lay everything in there. Yeah. Maybe this will keep me from coughing. Throat lozenges uh, <laughs> on the thing. Uh, so, hey, I want to watch you again, um, our Amazon Live thing. This is a new platform that uh, we started experimenting this week because we've got because we're not going to be traveling a whole lot between now and the first of the year, so we're going to be adding some live things that we do every week, and we're going to do them right here at Amazon.com/live RV lifestyle. I think I look like a chipmunk. Uh, with what? <laughs> oh, those. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you, what do you think? Um, and we urge you to call. We're going to do one Tuesday night on the best gear, RV gear that we have uh, found so far that we've been using this year. And uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get people to go over there. And if I can show you why I need you to go over there, and it might help out a little bit. What we would love you to do is, is uh, this is what it looks like when you go to that address. And um, 
right under here, underneath that, see that yellow, uh, that, that, whoop, I keep losing the shot, that yellow um, follow button, just click that. Click that, and uh, that will really help us uh, get this uh, this new these new live streams shown uh, throughout the whole Amazon uh, system, and more people will be able to see our different uh, products and and that we're talking about. And we'd love to have you guys follow us. And you'll just get a quick note that hey, we're going live, but uh, we are scheduled to do one Tuesday at 7 p.m. And it's going to be kind of like this, you know, as you can ask live questions, and we'll talk about other stuff. And we're going to show and demonstrate many of these products that we have uh, have this year. I better get better quick. Well, yeah, I had you shooting some stuff today. And I know it. <laughs> you did a good job with it. So it was no all, rest for the wicked. There is no rest. We we've got stuff. So uh, I, I don't. Uh, Matthew Blau says, "Can you get it through the Amazon app?" I don't think so. I think you just have to open a browser and go there to uh, to it. Uh, wait a minute, Chris. Uh, uh, Phyllis is, I'm going to put Say, you on yes. the air, Chris. Phyllis? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can see it through the Amazon app. I get notifications all the time that way. Oh, good. Well, there you go, Matthew. So if you got the Amazon app, go for it. But make sure you follow us, okay? And uh, we'd appreciate that very much. Thanks, Phyllis, for coming on and answering that. Uh, here's a question. Miko Adventures. Oh, do we decorate RVs for holidays? We oh got We got to get our Christmas I should, I should Video try out. and pull that out right now and show it. It wasn't that long ago. It probably was um, two decades ago. Tell them about it. I'm going to look it up and see if I can find well, it. Has everybody <coughs> heard about Bronner's yeah. in Michigan? It's a great big uh, Let me look it up, holiday store, all it. kinds of decorations for every occasion out there. And uh, first year we were married, we had to go there and get ornaments for our first tree. And <laughs> we took our class B there and we had a blast. They decorated it for us. And that was when Ty was our Norwegian Alcon. And we even decorated Ty a little bit. <laughs> okay. So let me let me just try and run this video here. And I'll see if I can talk over it while we while we came off. But we did do one. Because um, we had so much fun doing this. This was so much fun. Oh, we don't need the commercial. Uh, no. I'll take that commercial off. As soon as you... Put away the turkey. Okay, let's... Uh, Were you that thin? Look at your face. I, I think this was a long time ago. Yeah. We both look very young. Yeah, let's just go up to the screw. Yeah, let's, let's get past that part. Jeez. Yeah, where is it? Here. Okay, here we go. This is... Uh, I'm going to turn down the volume. I'm assuming y'all are still here. It's okay. Um, so this is the volume. This is the uh, the video. Here's There's Bronner's. Bronner's. That's in Frankenmuth, Michigan. And uh, it's open... All, almost every day except Christmas and Easter. And it is the world's largest Christmas store. And look at the crowds. This was done the day, this was Black Friday. We went after Black Friday, actually, when we toured it. It has acres of Christmas stuff. Is that me? She didn't like that hat. How about that one? She didn't like that hat. Oh, come on, let me get a hat. You, you got to have hats. Definitely. A That's keeper. it. Yeah. Double thumbs up. There you go. But you can see all of the Christmas stuff that they have here, you know, the toys, the decorations. And um, we also found there's a whole bunch of little camper decorations that they have as well. Uh, like to take a hike there and there's a camper, and a little road trip and you can get really fun stuff like that. And uh, it was just it was really fun. And then Jennifer got really excited about it because uh, they just have all these little toys. And she decided that at that time we were in a. Class B. Uh, we're in class B, yeah. And uh, you decided that you wanted to go and see how we would decorate that. And they actually were so nice to us at Browners. They took us super nice back people. behind where all of their, their people were. And we explained what we wanted to do. And uh, we asked if they were up to the challenge. And they thought about it. And they all said, yeah, we're, we can do this. And so um, <laughs> we got pretty excited. We brought it out in front. And a few minutes later, right, about a half hour later, a whole parade of them came out. The employees and came out. all the stuff they're carrying. And uh, they came inside, and they, they wouldn't let us in for a while. They just... Uh, <laughs> how many people can you get in a room? Yeah, how many people can get in a Class B? And uh, they uh, they said, okay, get out of here now. <laughs> okay, we'll come back. And uh, that was our uh, RV. And they put a thing on the front. 
And uh, at that point, we didn't have Bo. We had a dog named Ty. And uh, he was like it. And there was a little Santa. And uh, this is what they did. This was so much fun. I wonder if we had to go back there. We had to take our oh, Montana it, it fifth could, wheel. There you go. Yeah. And uh, look at all that stuff. They, but then uh, they, the sad part was as soon as we were done videoing, they took it all back. Yeah, they, they did this only just to show us. And we said, well, man, we can, we'll go someplace. But yes, you can decorate an RV for Christmas. And, and like a lot of places you go like Disney World and different places, you know, everybody decorates. And uh, yeah, they do in the parks. And we just had a great time. Um, and there's poor Ty. But poor Ty. He wasn't so hot about that idea. So, no. so anyway, but, that was, uh, that was our uh, that was experiments great at, uh, at Bronner. And once we did that, we and didn't think we could top that. It was a, just a lot of fun. I mean, we, so yes, uh, we would decorate it if we were out using it, we would be out there doing it right now. Cause it's, uh, it is a lot of fun and that was a great trip. So you could probably do the same. And here. I think most parks decorate. Yeah. I think the Disney uh, Fort wilderness, we were down there early before Thanksgiving mm -hmm. after Thanksgiving, but between Thanksgiving and it was all decorated for Christmas already. So, so it was pretty cool. Um, so yes, it's, somebody said here, do they have tiny ornaments for uh, little tiny RV Christmas trees? I'm sure they do. Yeah, yeah, they, they you do. You could probably go online and yeah. check. They seem to have everything. And they're not a sponsor or anything. It's just that it's the largest Christmas store in the world. And, and so we went. And they claim to be of German heritage, but anybody from Germany has never seen. Oh, but they are all, all German. <laughs> Browners, they are. It's a, <coughs> I know, but I mean, they have their chicken dinners and you know, the it's, little it's a town touristy is a, it's a little tourist, town. It's a very, it's a very sweet, charming little town. Charming, nice little community. And I think they advertise, you, you see it in your RV as you travel over the country, they advertise. In when we were into running, they did a fun run every summer, just about roasted to death, running through farmer's fields, but it was great fun. It was the Volkslauf, mm -hmm. and that's a German name for the people's run or something like that. And it was, uh, it was great. Uh, so, um, yes, you can indeed, uh, you can indeed uh, decorate for Christmas. Yes, and, uh, and it was it was pretty fun. Uh, so I think we're done, right? Are we done? I can't see any more questions. Um, here's somebody uh, looking for a long run in our Class C, wondering hug. Where did that come up from? Who did that? Looking for a long. I didn't rug. do that. A uh, long rug in our Class C, wondering what might be a good dirt catcher. Well, where do you get ours? Because you've picked up a couple of them at Walmart, I think. Walmart and Meyer. My, yeah. Uh, Meyer is, is a Michigan Michigan's chain. So chain. I don't, but Walmart is, is uh, has a, has a, the problem is you have a fairly narrow hallway there for that long rug. And uh, you got to make sure, measure it first and then go. But they have some longer six, seven, eight footers that you can. Maybe somebody up. out there can suggest something. Yeah. But we've, you've had a couple of them, like four, two four footers oh, that yeah. you put down. So that's what we've done. And that's usually the first thing we do with our classes. First thing we, we do. We add those things. But Walmart has. Got to protect them. the floor. I think Menards has, has long ones as well. And you can find it. So just um, measure and then go online. Yeah. Or just ask. Yeah. Um, the Facebook community. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do our Facebook group. Uh, Chuck Gunn. Getting good use out of the Florida trio of your ebooks, setting up a trip for March. Oh, Chuck, that's <laughs> that's what you want. We're to so say. happy. Yeah, we are so happy to hear that. Uh, we have th Florida is just such a popular destination. We wrote three RV lifestyle travel guides: uh, one for the Gulf Coast, one for the Atlantic Coast, one for the Keys. And uh, we're we're delighted, Chuck. If you got all of them, that you'll be able to plan your trip for March and uh, lots of great places to go. You, we have twenty, no, nineteen books. The one we're about to release on on um, uh, winter camping is going to be our twentieth book, and that's coming out pretty soon. Um, and I am bummed because I don't know if I'm going to be able to go winter camping at all this year because they told me to stay out of cold air. Yeah, well, just for a while. It's not permanent, but maybe. We'll see how it goes. It'll get it'll get chilly on the way down to Florida. 
True. And if we go to our Tennessee property, it'll be kind of cool there too. So it's, it's good, but check out those books. If you, if you can, we got a bunch of guys and they're all, they're all right there. And I think you'll find, uh, find some funds. Uh, Johnny lightning says, look for stair runners. And yeah, I guess you get that at a carpet store. Maybe. Yeah. I got lots of places. I think home Depot and all those places, some of them sell. Yeah. Stair runners. Yeah. For me, <laughs> when we had a B with getting 20 inch carpet or 22, not to get the 24, but now there's a lot more 22 inch wide. Okay. It was kind of hard to get narrow. Yep. Well, I don't want to stress your voice any longer. Well, you're doing fine. <laughs> you're carrying the ball. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm trying to keep it. So you, but you're getting kind of uh, coffee. Kind of. Oh, here's somebody who saw our uh, uh, Frank Obolkovitz from Naperville. Uh, said uh it's good to see you both of us and he liked our amazon products review the other day well thanks oh, thank frank. you frank yeah that's the one where i uh yelled at bo in the middle of it but uh <laughs> welcome to my world <laughs> but, Bolt but, is but welcome frank, to his frank world. makes me feel better because he said uh, uh he said he also added that uh, dogs bark no big deal lets us know you like the rest of well our dog will bark almost every time we're about ready to go on the air in fact He's usually in here with us, but he's it's dark and he's sleeping tonight. So I don't Bo barks at leaves falling. Yeah. Jerry Cornelius, and uh, you want me to read it? Yes. Okay. I save you from coffin. Just returned today from a camp out at Mount Airy Campground in North Carolina. He had 41 folks at dinner. Oh. Wow. Each year the campground has an appreciation luncheon and for all the campers, great outing. Oh, that's great. Didn't we just see a Hallmark movie kind of like that? We started watching this morning. Pretty. I can't watch those things. No. I can't watch Hallmark <laughs> movies. It's the same, same thing. Okay, we, okay. Boy meets girl. They don't like each other. They my fall in love. They have a crisis. My daughter-in-law is trying to find something out. for me to watch because I can't watch violence and shoot people up and skin them alive stuff. So no. um, she said, watch Hallmark movies. No, 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 no they're too. <laughs> so we started watching other YouTubers. Actually, yeah, we, we, uh, we, we're doing like you guys. We're watching YouTubers and now. Tell about our favorite person now. Peter Santinelli. Uh, I don't know if you guys have all read, seen him or not, but check him out. Peter Santinelli. He's actually, uh, he kind of does what we used to do back when when I was at one point the video columnist for um, uh, a big newspaper in the Midwest, Detroit Free Press. And uh, the, the goal was to kind of go around and just find the great stories and tell stuff and um, I did that for a little while and then we moved on to others, but he does this now with just YouTube and it may be an hour, hour and a half video. He just finds interesting groups of people that you don't know much about or in communities. There's that darn <laughs> bubble thing again. Uh, but he does a great job. So we've been watching him, Peter Santanelli. You can look him up on. And YouTube. then we start talking to our kids and our daughter <coughs> watches them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So he's done some pretty good. He just did a really great, series of stories on uh, an Amish community in uh, Kentucky and a couple of people who lived off the grid. And the more you met them, the more you realized how sharp this guy was, this young guy. Anyway, it was, it was fun. So that's what we've been watching is we've been watching YouTube videos at night. Uh, hey, we talked about uh, somebody noted. Oh yeah, we did have that. The Senate passed no changing clocks. The house has not, has been sitting on it for a year. So hopefully that will. Whatever happen. they decide. And uh, thank you, um, thank you, Mary McManus, for checking in on Amazon to follow us on our new Amazon uh, our Amazon live page on Amazon. I guess I get too passionate about the daylight saving thing. People in Michigan, I don't know why, but it, it seems like before we fall back, there's always accidents with kids on school buses and just people in general. I don't know. Why. I, yeah. They get hit. Yeah, it does. It gets it gets really insane. I don't know if other states are darkness, like that. People don't know how to drive, and I don't know. Yeah. Um, Anna Berry says you might be lactose intolerant rather than allergic. I I I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going really quick to see if we missed anything because we were jumping all around. But I think we're. I think we're all in. Phyllis, Phyllis really puts these up and Phyllis she says, leave me alone. The, I mean, yeah. Signs told it. Yeah. I'm kind of having fun doing it, but it's it's good. Uh, it's all, there's the one. I had one I wanted to put up. And I'm just going to put this up. It says, have a hot toddy. There you go. Yeah. 
uh, Happy You're Here, Princess Bride. We've seen that. Oh, I love the Princess Bride. Let's the watch Chose, it again. The Chosen is great. Yep. Uh, Jessica, we are investors in The Chosen. We were, we were original investors. We were Mike sat up investors. all one night trying to decide if this was a scam yep. or if it no, was a good I am, thing. We've been a supporter of that series uh, since it started. Uh, before season one and if you look at the credits and you'll see our, our names at the end and yeah. we kind of wanted to go out there and... we were, we're going to be an extra in a couple of yes them. we were but yeah we're big fans of that and i just invested in another movie that that same angel studios is making called the homestead which is based on a really cool series of books by the way called black autumn but you wouldn't want to watch that because it's because I'm a big wuss. Up. Yeah, you'd be a big wuss. I family. get all upset when you start. But thank you, watching Jessica. These That's, weird things. That is true, and, and, and that is a great series. All right, <laughs> how long have we been going here? Too long, I think. We got to go. We got to go. As they Jeez, say, I'm so excited. I got to. I feel like I have to talk to people, like, to be around people. Well, the thing that I made me isolated. realize you are feeling better is that you, for the first time, are getting cabin fever about yeah. being locked up but and and I, I when i go out like i went out yesterday and then i got so excited that i was in a store i went into a second and third store and then i just what i had to call you to drag me out <laughs> yeah all right before we go let's put up this address once more for our amazon live feed on tuesday night we really hope you guys will uh, find that it's right there um once more, please go over to that. That is our page on Amazon Live and uh, follow us and uh, join us at 7 p.m. on Tuesday night. 7 p.m. Tuesday night for our uh, best RV gear of the year. Yeah, well, personally about me, I am not good at being still. You know, I, I just don't have to collapse in a corner. I do not like being still. And I was talking to my sister-in-law and she said, now let me get this straight. You're just on a ventilator and the next day you're going to go grocery shopping. I thought, well, I guess that really doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was it was really wonderful to see the support we got from our, our whole community. Uh, so many of you have been so kind and uh, sending prayers and thoughts and asking on Jennifer. And I'm delighted that you're back, even though we should have a wardrobe consultant so we both don't wear plaid. The well, same well, we night. had talked about it. But, uh, yeah, well, we forgot. All right, that's it. Thank you, Phyllis, for uh, putting up with us tonight. And Chris over uh, on YouTube, thank you for uh, Marshall and all the folks there, for all of you who've tuned in. Thank you much. We'll uh, look for us on the podcast coming up Wednesday. Uh, we're going to talk on the podcast about keeping mice out of your RVs. How about and, out of your house? Well, we'll add that too. Okay. And uh, on Tuesday night, of course, on Amazon Live, the best RV gear of the year that we have used. And then uh, we'll... Uh, We'll keep seeing you on YouTube as well. So lots of content coming this week. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the program and glad to have you back, my love. And happy trails, everybody.